Good morning, everybody. It is about 7.30 in the morning on a Sunday here in New Vienna, Iowa. Happy 4th of July. That's the day that this is being filmed. Today, I'm going to try bike shorts. guys we are just shy of six miles 30 minutes into the ride so far for today this is my first ride in probably about eight months so my uh, my butt is definitely not saddle ready but so far I know this is gonna change over the course of the ride today but so far feeling pretty good Let's see how long that is. We are about 10 and a half miles into the ride for today, for a little bit more than 45 minutes. I think mileage wise, we're about halfway on this route, but time wise, this is the part where it starts to get a little bit more challenging. It'll be the first of several big climbs. There's big climbs for me. So we'll see how it goes. So far, my butt is starting to hurt a little bit and my toes are starting to get a little numb. So I'm trying to, already finding myself trying to find some additional ways I might be able to sit down on the seat, move around or shift my leg to get more comfortable. It's going to be a long day. I knew it was going to be a long day. Even with the best of bike shorts, I knew it was going to be a long day. Let's go. Alright, 12 miles in to the ride. We are heading through Coldberg. This is where my mother-in-law's from. This is a big hill. Alright guys, we are an hour, 11 minutes in, hour 12 minutes in, 16 miles on the nose, got about 5 miles left, feeling good, no change for the butt from uh, the last time we did, so that's a good thing. I'm also making really good time today, feeling good about that. We are back in the house now, 21.56 miles, an hour and 34 minutes and 29 seconds out on the bike today. Definitely not accustomed to being in a bike seat for any amount of time, but definitely not for an hour and a half. And today I have to say that riding in bike shorts is a little bit weird at first, especially when you're not actually on the bike. Getting in from the house to the garage where the bike was and then hopping on the bike, that was all very strange. It felt like there was a big pad on my butt, which there was. And on this pair of shorts, you could see it. It's hard to see like in the black, but if you turn them inside out, you could see the giant red pad. It's kind of like just having like an extra gel seat stitched into your pants is what this was. For those of you who haven't experienced this before, like me until just today. But um, yeah, it's interesting. 
And at first I was like, I don't think this is gonna make all that big a deal. Do I really even need something like this? But uh, after a while I was like, oh yeah, it's really nice to have this. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's a very nice cushion to have in the seat. Now, after I'd say probably about 30 to 45 minutes or so, I mentioned it on the camera where I started to feel a little bit of soreness kind of like in between kind of some of my like sacral bones. But um, uh, I felt a little bit of pressure in there and uh, that kind of stayed for the entire ride. But I feel like it wasn't as bad as when it has been in the past when I've gone on that same route uh without bike shorts on and on prior instances so i definitely feel like it's helped but i definitely felt at a certain point where uh, my butt was numb and my toes were starting to tingle so that was something that uh was a little bit unusual i can't remember if i felt that before when i wasn't in the bike shorts but it's definitely something that i felt this time it wasn't ever something where i felt like concerned about it but i was definitely feeling like okay my body is not loving being back in the saddle for the first time in a long time. But overall, I felt like I was able to ride comfortably for longer to the extent that I did feel discomfort. It wasn't as bad as I remembered it being before in the past. And uh, I felt like I made really good time today. So I feel like once I was able to eliminate some of those other discomforts, I was able to focus more on the ride. So overall, I'm a big fan of the bike shorts. Uh, some other facts about these, they kind of just look like regular shorts here, but. There's a couple of like mesh windows on the side, uh, which is kind of where like on running shorts, there'd probably be pockets over here, but no pockets on these, which at first I was a little disappointed in, but then I was like, oh, on bikes, there's always places to like put stuff. So I guess not a huge necessity for cyclists to have sh sh pockets in the shorts. Uh, but instead we got like a little mesh window here and then down uh, on the side by the thigh, there's also more mesh windows. There's also kind of like the rubber strip along the bottom of the legs to make everything a little bit tacky so the shorts don't ride up. And they did a fine job of just staying in place. Really enjoyed these. I've had these for a while, just haven't had the opportunity to ride in them until now. And I think I like it. From now on, I'm definitely gonna be putting bike shorts on. Now I'm getting ready for my first triathlon and I ordered some triathlon shorts. So those should be coming soon. But if I don't have the triathlon shorts on, I'm definitely be putting on these bike shorts because I do think that it makes a difference.